Hello, I'm Aner Kushnir, VP of Technology for Algosec. In the following few minutes, I will demonstrate a new Algosec app for incident response that integrates with Splunk. Splunk is used to detect and analyze potential breaches, while Algosec manages security policies and augments them with business context. The new Algosec Splunk app enhances and automates the incident response in the following ways. Algosec highlights the potential impact on business applications and business processes. Algosec also adds information regarding the infected server's exposure to the internet or access to sensitive internal networks. This provides the security analyst with key information about the severity and urgency of the incident. In addition, Algosec can automate the action performed to contain the incident, such as automatically isolating the infected server from the network, all in a single click. Now let's see the new app in action. So here is my Splunk dashboard. Now let's look for some interesting events. So let's assume that this IP address happens to be suspicious for some reason. Under workflow actions, I now have a few new actions. Let's take a look at the first one, find affected business applications. Clicking on that will open a business flow window, listing all the impacted business applications that are re relevant for this IP address. For example, let's look at this one, the payroll, and we see that the HR payroll server happens to be the exact server we were looking for. Sounds important. I can also see here the business owners and who are the relevant uh, contacts for this uh, application. Now let's see what else I have. So you can see here that we also have Analyzing Algosec Incident Analysis app. Clicking on this will open the new Algosec uh, Splunk app. And we can see here many interesting details about this suspicious IP address. So first, the business impact. We can see here a list of all the business applications that are impacted by this IP address. Here is the payroll application we saw before. And some indication about whether these applications are critical or not. In this case, they are. We can also see here some more details, which opens the uh, business flow window we saw before. In addition, I can see here additional information about the exposure to the internet for this server. So I can see that some traffic is allowed. And clicking on the further details, I can see the entire information about the connectivity of this uh, server to the internet, the full path, the relevant firewalls on the path, and even the relevant rules that allow the traffic and which services are allowed. So let's say this server is indeed suspicious and we want to disconnect it from the network. And I go now to isolate server from the network. And clicking on that will issue a new change request to Algosec Fireflow to block the traffic to and from this server. Clicking on the details link will open this change request in Fireflow. You can see here that this is a request to block the traffic from and to this server. We can also track the progress of the implementation of this change request. Now all these capabilities that we just saw can be used either as is within this uh, Splunk app, or you can pick and choose and incorporate them in your own Splunk apps. Thank you.